Of all the 1984 Generation 1 Autobots they decided to make siblings in fiction, it surprisingly wasn't characters who used the same mold or similar engineering. It was two bots with Lamborghini Countach alternate modes, which themselves weren't completely identical, and had different transformations and robot designs, Sunstreaker and Sideswipe. While some new toys of the duo have shared a sculpt, lines like Masterpiece, and more recently, the War for Cybertron trilogy, opt for two distinct moulds that transform into similar cars, just like old times. That said, this deluxe class Sunstreaker shares some engineering with fellow Earthrise figure Wheeljack, whose Netflix release I'll review another time, but they're not straight up retools of each other. Sunstreaker turns into a, close but not quite to avoid legal troubles, Kuntash. Compared to 2008's Universe Deluxe, which was a more heavily modified Lambo from the era, this one's closer to the original LP500S. The biggest giveaways being the literal low profile, alongside the similar front bumper, headlights, roof, vents, window framing, etc. The rear sports twin 5mm ports, obviously to mount weapons, though you get the feeling they were meant for a spoiler that never came to be. There are Lambos lacking spoilers to be fair. Thankfully, he has his signature rear-mounted engine, and a well-detailed one at that. It's a separate piece that plugs into a third port, meaning, yes, it's compatible, both elsewhere on the toy and with other figures from the trilogy. But come on, it's just not Sunstreaker without it. It's Tiger Track. On that note, the deco consists of yellow and black with the clear blue windscreen, plus the headlights, wheel rims, and engine painted a lovely silver. The layout's not exact, but it's basically inspired by the Generation 1 cartoon, since outside of the Autobot sigil, there's not a trace of red in either mode, unlike the G1 Sunstreaker toy which sported red shoulders. Sadly, the yellow matching isn't great, as the dark plastic colour slightly bleeds through on the parts painted yellow, like on the roof. Between this guy and his wavemate, Trailbreaker, Hasbro's colour matching needed work. Sunstreaker and Sideswipe from the War for Cybertron trilogy look cool together, and emphasising that brotherly bond, the cars are sculpted pretty similar despite, again, being completely different moulds, right down to the tech details visible through the windscreen. The transformation is where you see the similarities to Wheeljack, in particular how the legs and upper body come together. With the latter, you must rotate the rear half of the vehicle before hinging back the car roof piece. Design-wise, Universe Sunstreaker reinterpreted said Autobot while retaining some of his traits. Earthrise Sunstreaker, by comparison, stays true to the character's original look. Both have that standout head sculpt with those curved yellow ridged ears. The Universe Deluxes are shaped closer to the G1 toy, while the Earthrise figures are more show accurate. Also there's the car roof chest, which on the Earthrise Deluxe looks a little too wide proportionally. Don't forget the engine mounted on his back. However, Earthrise Sunstreaker returns to having the front of the car form the feet, albeit upside down. Those headlights on the top of his feet are fake. There's also the rocket boosters moulded within the shoulders. His colour scheme is still mostly pulled from the G1 cartoon, primarily yellow and black, whereas the Universe toy had grey to break things up. Sunstreaker's articulation consists of a ball-jointed neck, universal shoulders and hips, bicep and thigh swivels, 90 degree bends in the elbows and knees, sideways ankle tilts, lastly both his shoulders and feet can hinge up and down. If you want to count these, the wrists curl inwards, whilst the head can look down on its transformation hinge. The 5mm ports allow him to wield pieces of the Pull Apart and Equip series of figures, up to and including Legacy United's armorizers. However, in a recurring theme with most modern Sunstreaker toys, the engine block contributes to his arsenal, though this deluxe lacks any weaponry outside of that. It works best as a forearm blaster, since the post is too short for him to handhold the gun. 
Even then, with how flat the barrels are, it doesn't look that impressive. It also isn't bluish compatible. <laughs> Effects parts compatible. Luckily, the figure itself is, with the 3mm posts on his limbs, as well as those aforementioned ports, including on the shoulder rocket boosters. I honestly would have liked a Cybertronian G1 Sunstreaker, if only so the Lambo brothers had matching toys throughout the War for Cybertron trilogy. That aside, if Universe 2.0's reinvention of the vain Autobot didn't do it for you, and that's still a clever design to me, the Earthrise Deluxe is more faithful to the character's initial look, and thanks to the combat play pattern, just a fun toy to mess with. Of course, there's always room for improvement. The Selects Redeco appears to ditch the translucent plastic in yellow paint for matching opaque plastic, but also shape up the proportions, throw in a better looking and functioning weapon, Bob's your uncle.